When you first look at Jim Fuller, you would never guess that he's a nurse. But for over two decades, he has been just that, working as a nurse at UNC hospitals while living in Hillsboro. Jim works the night shift in the emergency department at the new state-of-the-art UNC hospital in Hillsboro. The building, opened just last year, gleams in the sunlight and is outfitted with all of the latest medical technology. As you can imagine, working in the emergency department is unpredictable. On some nights, very few patients come in, leaving the hospital mostly empty, while on others, it's busy around the clock. Patients like Mary come in needing immediate care and attention. Nurses and doctors have to act quickly to ensure that everyone gets the proper treatment. At times, it seems that the work never ends. It can be equally stressful for patients. Sometimes they have to wait for hours before getting the care that they need. They lay in beds attached to wires, unable to do anything other than patiently wait for their turn. It's easy to feel like just another body being rolled through an assembly line. But Jim's friendly and thoughtful attitude changes all of that. Marcus quickly forgets all of the pain from his sprained finger and can't help but greet Jim with a huge smile. Even family members are delighted to see Jim. Jim's fellow nurses love working with him. He brings a sense of calm and ease to an otherwise stressful environment. Having been a nurse for over 20 years now, Jim is ready to pass on his knowledge to the next generation of nurses. He spends time mentoring nursing students, like Lucy, from nearby Durham Tech. His wife, Terry, also works in the emergency department, and although she normally works during the day while he works at night, every now and then, they get the chance to work together. In the mornings after he is done at the hospital, Jim loves nothing more than heading over to Cup of Joe and enjoying a cup of coffee with family and friends. When he first moved to Hillsboro over 20 years ago, he didn't know anyone. It's at Cup of Joe that he has made many lifelong friends. There, they share stories about their lives and enjoy each other's company. And when Jim needs a screw or a bolt to fix something, he simply crosses the street to Dual Supply, where the owner, Mr. Woods, is quick to find Jim whatever he needs. Jim says that he would come to Dual Supply over Home Depot any day of the week. During the week, Jim and Terry spend a lot of time apart due to their different work schedules. So when they do have time together, they enjoy going for walks along the river walk and through the town, stopping to admire the many interesting sights. And when he needs a break, he'll sit down for a while, enjoying the scenery while watching others pass by. Having lived in Hillsboro for so long, he sees many familiar faces, and some will stop for a quick chat. But when the day ends, Jim enjoys relaxing at his home, one that he's lived in with his wife for the past 23 years. He collects many old antiques, like this old property contract. He is also an avid music fan and likes to play his guitars. His three kids have all grown up and moved out, but he still has many reminders of them scattered throughout his house. It's clear that he's passed on many things to his kids, like his twisted sense of humor and lanky appendages. Nowadays, his cat Scaredy is the star of the show. She is always eager for Jim's affection. Even when his kids and grandkids come over, Scaredy is still the center of attention. She is playful, and quick to snatch up anything that comes her way. Although his kids have moved out and now have kids of their own, they still live close by, and every now and then, Jim gets together with his family to celebrate special occasions. Here, it's his daughter Allison's birthday, which they celebrate with a red velvet cake made by Jim. It's these times spent with family laughing and enjoying life together that are truly special for Jim. Although you never guess it by looking at him, you can certainly understand it by meeting him. Jim's a man with a kind and thoughtful soul, invested in his family and community, 
always looking out for others. He's the perfect small town nurse.